Hey everyone, Mikey here with Electric, and this is an electric unicycle. It's the InMotion V5, and they tell me it's a great beginner unicycle, which is good because that's exactly what I am. Now come along with me while I review this thing and try not to make a fool out of myself. It's been nearly half a decade since the first and also last time I was on an electric unicycle, so that meant relearning how to ride this thing. Fortunately, the InMotion V5 is pretty beginner friendly. It's got a small 14 inch wheel that is still large enough to feel more stable than little scooter wheels, a low power 450 watt motor that won't make you feel like it's going to shoot out from under you, and a small 188 watt hour battery that doesn't do range any favors at just 12.5 miles, but does keep the thing pretty lightweight at 25 pounds, making it easier to handle underneath you. And can we all just take a moment to appreciate the cultural differences that go into the instruction manual too? Aside from the casual fat shaming, there are some doozies in there, such as being off limits to alcoholics and anyone who's been committed. But I'm just gonna leave the rest of that alone. Now to ride the thing, you basically start by putting one foot on a platform with the wheel up against that leg, and then hop on the other platform and lean forward. You're 100% gonna fall the first time, but that's okay. Everyone does. I've done this before long ago in my youth, and it still took me a hot minute to find the muscle memory. I'd hop on, embarrass myself by falling off, hop on again, fall off again, and the vicious cycle repeated itself for several minutes, until finally, at last, I kind of sorta started to feel it coming back to me. At that point, when you roll your first few feet, your confidence really picks up and you kind of start to get it. it, it begins to click in your mind. A few more brief falls and then I was basically doing it. I even remembered how to turn, which is basically to look where you want to go, which is also kind of how you turn any balancing device, from motorcycles to one wheels and everything in between. Now I took to this quicker since I already had a painful week-long learning experience several years ago, but if this is your first time trying out an electric unicycle, then expect it to take several days at minimum until you can do this. But you just have to stick with it, since every time you hop on and fall off, that's just your brain calibrating itself. Each time it gets a little bit better until it can basically do it without you. While a nice open parking lot is a good place to start learning, I highly recommend that once you can basically ride it for more than a few seconds, you switch to somewhere that has predefined trails like this, since it really helps you figure out that sort of involuntary part of riding, where your brain sees these boundary lines and just sort of guides your body to stay within the lines without you really having to voluntarily do anything. It really helps to improve your turning this way too, because it trains your brain to turn by sight and feel instead of you trying to manhandle an invisible set of handlebars that just aren't there. Once you get better, you can even ride on gravel and grass, since the wheel is large enough that it can pretty well handle bumps and dips and debris. I'm not saying I'm an expert at this, I am far from it, and I still occasionally do these weird dance moves when I start to lose balance. But that usually comes from times where I for some reason try to take over the pilot seat and stop letting the Neanderthal part of my brain drive. When I relax and just sort of go with the flow, suddenly I lock in and balance just happens by itself. It's not an active thing, but weirdly it's almost more of a passive thing. In fact, at one point I even got a text and decided it was a wise move to check it while riding, and I found that it almost made it easier, because again, I stopped trying to outthink myself and control the wheel, and instead I just let my brain passively do its thing and balance me. Now I'm not saying ride around on the street with your phone, that's a bad idea, but I am saying that this kind of illustrates the idea that you just don't need to overthink it, you just need to kind of let the rolling happen and let your subconscious brain balance for you. Now the InMotion V5 is very much a beginner wheel, like I said. It tops out at 12 and a half miles per hour, which is not much, and you'll likely outgrow that speed quickly. But it's a great model for getting started on, because it's not going to intimidate you like a bigger and more powerful wheel. It also knows you're a beginner, and it gives you what I assume are meant to be helpful reminders if you fall over. Be careful. Oh, that's what I was forgetting to do. Silly me. Now at a price of 599 bucks, it's a fairly inexpensive way to get into electric unicycles, at least compared to the several thousand dollar fancier options out there with more powerful motors, bigger batteries, and suspension. 
And lastly, to all you EUC riders who constantly comment on my videos telling me how great these things are, yeah, I get it now. They're pretty darn cool. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed that review of the InMotion V5. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. I'll see you here next time. This is where I normally ride out real fast on whatever I just reviewed, but I'm guessing it's not gonna be as cool of an exit this time. Whoa!